today we're doing an angel box and following is the list of things you need to do the project with us. And this is the prep work we did beforehand. Mainly sanding, cleaning, and a couple of rough coats with loof, which is from the Lazy Range from the French Furniture Paint. We have just applied the Easy Crackle from the French Chic Furniture Paint and until it dries and we do the covering coat, we're preparing our little angels. Basically we did a couple of coats of loof and now we're going to do some dry brushing. to prepare our angels. What we did here was a coat of easy crackle, we let it dry, then we put swanky pants on top of it, quite a lot of paint to create this effect. Then when it dried we did a, cuff, a, a coat of finishing coat to seal properly. And now we start to remove the, our tape. some damage because we can still use that to our advantage and that's it now we're going to decorate the lower part and we need city slicker Small brush, small sponge and a little bit of water. And let's start with our second part of the project. Part two is done. And now we're going to use this luscious, gorgeous gold 
from the Fenshin Metallics. We're going this way. With it here was sponging a bit of city slicker on the loof on the lower part and we did the same thing with the gorgeous gold to create this frame over here and now we're going to apply our angels to the box with some proper glue And until we're waiting for the drying time. And until we're waiting for the glue to dry up, we're going to do some stencils on the cracker with a mix of city slicker and gold. the gold and we did some stenciling on top. Right now we're waiting for the stenciling to dry and uh, we can go to the following step. So what we did with the angels as well, we glued them. Now they're completely stuck properly. We did some gold on them and the last, the last stage is going to be the browning wax. Goodbye, see you next week. <laughs>